Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do getting the equations of cos graphs. Now if you look at this one, the adjustment is between the ratio and the theta. When we discussed that, we said A will equal to old over new. Now when I refer to old, I meant the original mother graph. Now you know a cos graph, it starts at 1, it cuts at 90, then it goes to 180, 270, and it ends at 360. You should know your mother graphs. So on the first coordinate, we have 0 and 1, but I'm not interested in that one. What I'm interested in is on the second one. The old one is 90, but the new one is 180. So my A is going to equal to a half. Let's look at another example. Now, if you look at this one, we have two adjustments. We have an adjustment where it moved and we have adjustment in front. Now to solve for A in this case, the position it has is in front. So to calculate A, we're going to say maximum minus the minimum. Okay, now we can do that safely because we can see it is completing one complete cycle. So we know the maximum is 1 and the minimum is minus 1. So we have 1 minus minus 1, which is equal to 2 over 2, which is 1. But do you notice the graph? They tell you it's a minus. So which means it's minus 1 cos alpha minus beta. But how do I get B? We need to look at the cos graph. Now, the cos graph, if it was an upside down graph, the starting point of a cos graph should have been 0 and minus 1. So, it should have actually started here. If it was upside down, that's where it should have started. But now, it is starting at 90. So, what had happened to the graph? It moved 90. So, my B is equal to 90 degrees. So, my final answer is minus 1 cos theta minus 90 degrees. Right, now for the last one. If you look at this, they're giving us A, they're telling us it's positive. The highest point is 2 and the lowest is minus 2. So, A is going to equal to 2 minus minus 2. Remember, maximum minus minimum divided by 2. We now have f of x is equal to 2 cos x minus b. Now a standard cos graph that is high, it would start at 0 and 2. That's where it should have started. But it's not starting at 0 and 2. But now that looks really unclear. When you are not sure and you say, okay, it should have started there. I can't get this. I'm not sure what's happening. Then what you do and you say, okay, it should have started at 2. From 2, it should have went to 90. Then it should have went to minus 2 and 180. Then it should have went to So you kind of try and think, okay, how would this graph be? Okay, and you must try and link it to one of the points that are on the graph. If you look, this point is not very clear. Okay, but they give us that that is 210. Now, it's not coincidental that they give us that that's 210. If you take this point, this should have been 90, right? So, you're working with this graph here. I'm looking with this part. Can you see? This part should have been this part, isn't it? So this should have been 0, and now it's not 0 anymore. This should have been 90, but it's not 90. What is it? 210. Now how much did it move? We know it's a cos graph. It should have started there, but it's not starting there. It moved, and from 90 to 210, how much did it move? It moved, if you take 210, minus 90, then it moved 120 degrees. Okay, so now we know the point 
it should have crossed was 90. Now it's crossing 210. So what was the difference between these two points? The difference between those two points was 120 degrees. That would mean our B is equal to 120 degrees. So our equation would be f of x is equal to 2 cos x minus 120 degrees. Thank you for watching.